Hello, and welcome to today's teaching, which is being presented to you by For Those Who Choose Incorporated. My name is Annette Cook, and I am a co-founder and an instructor of For Those Who Choose. And teaching with me again today are my husband, Elder Aaron Cook. Good day. He's also, he's, our, he's a co-founder also and our lead instructor here at For Those Who Choose. And my sister, Sister Diane Bowyer, who they call the Bishop. The Bishop. Who is also <laughs> on our instructor team. Amen. Well, today we're going to continue with our final topic in the series called The Concepts and Characteristics of the Kingdom. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. And the component of our focus that we started last week is mm. the principle of kingdom culture. Yes. Amen. So last week we asked, what exactly are we referring to when we talk about culture? Well, we said that culture means many different, but related things. And mm -hmm. some of those things are culture refers to the behaviors and customary beliefs, mm -hmm. characteristics, you know, characteristics of a particular social, ethnic, religious, or mm -hmm. age group. Yeah. Yes. Culture also means the development or improvement of the mind mm -hmm. by education yes. or training. Yes. Culture is also a set of shared attitudes, values, goals, and practices that characterize a company or a corporation. And that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yes. I mean, you go into many corporations and you, you immediately see their vision and their mm -hmm. mission statement and they talk about their goals and objectives. So it's describing the culture of that company. Mm -hmm. Culture is also the integrated pattern of human knowledge, belief, and behavior that depends upon man's capacity mm. for learning and transmitting knowledge to succeeding generations. Amen. Amen. Right? That's Amen. a mouthful. It is a mouthful. But culture is basically the sum total of ways of living mm -hmm. built up by a group of human beings and transmitted from one generation to another. And we talked yeah. about that last week because mm -hmm. we're not transmitting the culture of God from right. generation to generation, yeah. which right. is why we see a lot of people right. today with what, what the Bible calls um, hearts that have waxed cold. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Wow. So God wants us to learn the culture of the country of heaven, we said mm -hmm. last week, and pass it on from generation to generation, yeah, right. which is why Jesus told his disciples to pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth just like, like it is, is in heaven. Amen. Amen. Now, we've said many times before that the Bible is about a kingdom, mm -hmm. and a kingdom is the governing influence of a king impacting a territory with his purpose, mm -hmm. with his intent, yes. or his will, producing a citizenry of people mm -hmm. that reflect the culture, the nature, the morals, and the values of that king. Amen. Amen. Yes. Jesus yes. is a king. Yes. Amen. Yes, He's sir. a king. He's not a prime minister. Mm -hmm. He's not a president. Mm -hmm. He's a king. Mm -hmm. And a king expects his culture to be reflected throughout the territory of his rulership. Right. Amen. Amen. So as we've learned through the series on the concepts and characteristics of kingdoms, all true kingdoms have the same qualities, mm -hmm. which is why Jesus used the word kingdom in his teachings. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. All kingdoms manifest themselves through culture. Mm -hmm. And we said last week that culture is stronger than politics wow. and it's more mm -hmm. powerful than religion. Wow. Yes. Say it again. yes. Culture sir. is more stronger than politics mm -hmm. and it's more powerful than religion. Wow. Mm -hmm. So in Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 through 28, it tells us mm -hmm. that God gave you and I dominion, authority, mm -hmm. or royal rulership wow. over the earth. Mm -hmm. We are his little kings in his territory or heaven's colony on earth. And last week we started using that term colony and mm -hmm. colonization quite a bit in our teaching. And I believe from this point forward, you're going to hear us talk yes. more and more about colony and colonization mm -hmm. as it relates to the kingdom of God's government. This is why Jesus is called the king of kings. Hallelujah. This earth is supposed to be a corporate kingship. Mm -hmm. yes. We are kings ruling the earth. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is our king, which is why he's called the king of kings. Yes. Amen. Yes. So our assignment is to bring the dominion, rulership, and mm -hmm. culture of heaven in the earth. In the earth. Amen. 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 Our entire ministry is to bring the government of heaven 
and the rulership of heaven mm -hmm. on earth. God wants us to learn mm. the culture of heaven, mm. incorporate his culture in our everyday lives mm. and pass it on from generation, generation to generation. To generation. Amen. 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 Now, as we stated many times before, all true kingdoms contain, this, contains the same characteristics and components. Mm -hmm. In this series, we have been reviewing concepts and principles of kingdom that you should know yeah. and become mm -hmm. familiar with. Amen. You must study and apply them to the message of the kingdom of God in heaven, mm -hmm. taught by the king himself. Amen. And you Jesus know, Christ. in the word of God, that's all he said. Yeah. The kingdom of God is this. The kingdom yeah. of heaven that's is right. this. Yeah. The yeah. kingdom, exactly. kingdom, kingdom. That's yeah. all he that's taught. All he that's all he taught. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and G, uh, you must study and apply the message to the kingdom of God mm -hmm. in heaven, taught by the king himself, That's right. Jesus Christ, That's right. in order to fully understand mm -hmm. his concepts, yes. which is his ideas, mm -hmm. his precepts or principles of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Understanding the mind of God mm -hmm. about the kingdom will also help to understand your purpose, right. your potential, mm -hmm. the power you have available to dominate life mm -hmm. and your position in life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our primary objective for this series has been that you begin learning the original concepts and characteristics of the kingdom in general, so that as you study the Bible, your understanding will be complete. Amen. Somebody say Amen. complete. 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 <laughs> now, as a reminder, mm -hmm. the context of this series is taken from a book by the late, great mm -hmm. Dr. Miles Monroe Amen. called Miles. Kingdom Principles. Amen. We encourage you to read it as well because yes. the book goes into detailed mm -hmm. research done by Dr. Miles, yes. which consists of 26 different components of wow. the kingdom. Mm -hmm. We did not and we will not co cover all 26 no. components in this series, mm -hmm. but our goal has been to provide a good Excuse foundation to increase your knowledge and understanding of the kingdom of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Again, we want to remind you that the kingdom is, is God's greatest desire mm -hmm. and passion for you and I. That's right. And it's vitally important mm -hmm. that we study the kingdom. Mm -hmm. We are God's children. That's right. And his desire is that we will rule this earth That's right. and that we will reign in life with yes. the influences of heaven. Amen. Remember, Jesus came with the government on his shoulder, right. the mm -hmm. place in the hearts of men right. so we can dominate this earth with the influences of heaven. Amen. God wants the environment of his influence, which is his government, the economy of heaven, mm -hmm. to come back to earth as he original intended, mm -hmm. purpose, and plan from the very beginning. Amen. God wants his heavenly kingdom yes. or his heavenly government mm -hmm. to be manifested in the earth through you and I. Amen. God's Amen. desire is that his kingdom government mm -hmm. be manifested in the hearts and in the mind Amen. of we, his children, that's, us, that's uh, right. to the point that we take on his culture, that's right. his nature, yes. his morals, yes. his values, yes. so that the culture of heaven mm -hmm. is manifested throughout the earth. Amen. Amen. As we said many times before, culture is not in the land, right. but instead culture is in the people, in the people of the land. Of the land. That's right. Amen. So when you possess the culture of the king of heaven, mm -hmm. you will indeed be able to manifest heaven culture in the earth. That's right. Thy kingdom come, That's right. thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth just like, like it is in heaven. heaven. Amen. 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 Now, for those of you who are joining us live today, we yes. ask that you join the, join the conversation. All throughout this live session, we ask that you share your thoughts and your questions with us. Mm -hmm. And at the end of each session, we always have an open forum. Amen. Mm -hmm. During that time, we will respond to any questions that you may have online. Mm -hmm. 
our desire is that you walk away from these teaching with the knowledge and understanding that will allow you to apply what you are learning to your everyday life. Yes. Amen. Remember the parable of the sower, mm -hmm. which is in the book of Matthew, chapter, chapter 13. 13. That's Amen. right. Mm -hmm. Jesus explained mm -hmm. that the seed of the word is the kingdom mm -hmm. and how the evil one Satan. Mm -hmm. He tells how Satan comes immediately and steal the word of the kingdom when you, you don't, don't understand, understand yes. it. Mm. Therefore, please, please don't leave this session today without having a thorough understanding of mm -hmm. everything that we discussed. Yes. So please join the conversation. Mm -hmm. Type your questions and comments in the comment session mm -hmm. and we have a team of people Amen. who will be able to share them with us. Mm -hmm. Also, if you don't mind, hit the like and the share mm -hmm. button to share this message with others who may be who may want to learn more about the kingdom yeah. as well. It is for those, those who choose. For those who choose. <laughs> Amen. 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 So now, before we move into our lesson today, let's officially open our session in prayer. Yeah. Let's petition the government of yes. heaven yes. to give the most high king of heaven yes. permission to manifest his presence in and through this teaching today. Amen. 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 You at home, Amen. pray with us also. Amen. Amen. As we go before our Father and pray in heaven. Amen. Spirit of the living God, we thank you, Father, for your anointing. Yes. We thank you for your presence. So, Father, your word says, when two or three come together, bring yes. us in touching that you'll yes. be there in the midst. Mm. So, Father, we always thank you for your presence. Yes. We thank you, Lord, another Sunday for drawing us here that you might just yes. sit and sup with us over these next few moments. Yes, yes. Father, as we begin this teaching, Lord, we pray that the Logos will become rhema, yes. that your word will be made flesh, yes. and right in front of us, Lord, as we teach, that 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 the abstract things will be made yes. clear to us, Lord. Yes. And so, Father, we just thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your kindness, yes. Lord. We thank you, Lord, for ordering our steps each and every day and all throughout this week, Lord, each and every hour, Lord. Yes. We thank you, Lord, for continuing to dispatch your ministering angels, Lord, to camp round about us, around about our homes and our cars and about our family and about our friends, Lord, keeping us safe from all harm and danger to the point that your word says that we wouldn't even dash our foot against a stone. But sometimes, Father, as we go through life, the storms in our life, sometimes they continue to rage and the winds rise up on every hand. Yes, but we thank you, Father, that you are our, our, our source. Yes. You are our shield and our buffer. Yes, you are our rock. Yes. In, a, in a nail, in a sure place. Yes, sir. We thank you, Father, that we can turn to you with all things, Lord. Yes. You said in, in 1 Peter 5 and 7 to cast all of our cares upon you because you care for us. Yes. So we cast every thought, every situation, every circumstance yes. upon you, Lord. There may be someone that's sick, Lord. So we ask that you touch every broken yes. place, every broken heart, yes, every broken relationship, every broken yes, man, Lord. woman, boy, and girl, Lord. Yes. Every broken condition. For Father, you're the master of broken places. Yes, you are the boss of this universe. Yes, Father, we release ourselves right now in your presence. For Father, we know without a doubt that you can do all things all exceeding things. abundantly all about you, anything yeah. that we could ever ask, think, or even imagine yes, yes, according Lord. to the power that worked within us. Yes. We ask that the Spirit of God have the right of way in yes. our lives and in this yes. teaching today yes. to send increase in the wisdom of the kingdom, yes. increase in health. Yes. Increase in finances, yes. Father. Yes. But you said that you pray above all things, above anything yes. else, that we would prosper, yes. that we would be in health even as our soul yes. prospers. Yes. So, Father, we ask that you have your way. Yes. And, Father, our will is that we do your will, Lord. Yes. Yes. And that when we finish, Lord, that you're pleased with us, Lord. Yes. For everything yes. we do, Lord, is for your divine purpose, yes. as your Son, you sure Jesus taught us to do, Lord. Yes. And so, Father, just have your way. We thank yes. you for your glory, yes. Lord. Your God kind of favor, your unmerited favor in our lives. Yes. We thank you for your grace, Lord. Lord, your yes. grace, Lord, that, that helps us to overcome sin and lies mm -hmm. and the tricks and the Thank devices you, of Satan, Lord. And so, Father, we just ask that you have your way. And, Father, we'll always be extra careful. We give you the praise and the glory as we've come another Sunday to receive. We came to believe. Yes. And where we have need, Father, we came to be changed. Yes. And the devil cannot stop us. Yes. By your help, Father, this day we shall receive, we, we shall, shall believe, yes. and we shall be yes. changed. Yes. In Jesus' name, in Jesus let name. everybody say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. And amen. And amen. amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
Amen. Now, before we move into our new content, let's begin by reviewing some of the key concepts that we covered in week one mm -hmm. on the principle of kingdom culture. Amen. Kingdom culture. Kingdom culture. That's kingdom culture. the kind of culture we're supposed to be operating in. Kingdom culture Amen. from heaven. Amen. Last week we begin by saying, once you once you understand the culture of a people, you understand the people. Mm -hmm. We said that everything that makes a nation a nation and a people a people is wrapped up in their culture. Yes. We said when a kingdom colonizes a foreign territory, mm -hmm. the manifestation of that kingdom's culture is the ultimate evidence of that kingdom's impact and influence in the foreign territory or the colony. For example, we said if you look at the countries in the continent of Africa or the Caribbean nations, mm -hmm. most of these territories were colonized by European nations. Yeah. And we know this. Mm -hmm. And although most of them today are independent from the colonial rule, mm -hmm. the influence yeah. and culture of the former kingdoms are still prevalent in the foreign territories today. Yes. For example, we said if you travel to Cuba, mm -hmm. it is very evident that the country was once colonized by the Kingdom of Spain. Spain. Yeah. From the building architecture mm -hmm. to the cuisines, the food, mm -hmm. and the language of the people, the influence of Spain still resides in that territory today yes. in 2019. Yeah. We said last week, if you look at the Dominican um, yeah. Dominican Republic, right. the landmass that it occupies is the same island that houses the country of Haiti. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yet, yeah, yeah. the culture of both countries is very different. Very different. Yeah. The Dominican Republic was once colonized by Spain, mm -hmm. and the people are Spanish-speaking. Mm -hmm. Haiti was colonized by France, yes. and it is a French-speaking nation. Wow. We said, although the Dominican Republic and Haiti share the same landmass, they share they share, share the same landmass. Mm -hmm. Their colony histories and cultures are very different. Yes. Mm -hmm. We said last week that a kingdom is not successful in colonizing colonizing a territory until that culture is manifested in the territory. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what God wants His culture yes. to be yes. manifested in the earth. Yes. Culture is stronger than politics, and it's more powerful than religion. Mm -hmm. We said that our Heavenly Father, Jehovah Elohim God, the self-existing one, created the realms of heaven and the earth. Mm -hmm. He created the entire universe. Yes. Heaven is the original invisible country of Jehovah. It is God's center of power. Mm -hmm. Heaven is where the throne of the Most High King lives right now as we speak. Amen. That's where he is, looking yes. at you. And me. Amen. As the Bible says, our Father who art in heaven. Why? Because he's not on earth. He's That's in right. heaven. Mm -hmm. Holy or hallowed is your name. Mm -hmm. As we've said many, many, many times before, heaven is a real place. Yes, it is. It's a divine, invisible, supernatural nation or country. And it's preeminent. That means it was before the earth. Mm -hmm. Elohim, God, the creator of all things in the universe, is king over that country. Amen. We said that the invisible country of heaven is called the kingdom of heaven right. because Jehovah God is king over that country. Amen. The form of government that governs the affairs of that country is a kingdom government, yes. a kingdom government. Yes. As we previously studied, God's original idea was to extend that invisible country uh -huh. or that kingdom's influence on the physical earth. Yes. He wanted his kingdom to come to earth, as it says in the prayer. Right. Thy kingdom come, my will be done right. on earth, just, just like, like it is up here heaven. where I am. Right. In heaven. Amen. Right. Amen. In the home country. Amen. We said that God's desire was celestial expansion. Now, Celestial means invisible or heavenly or spiritual. Mm -hmm. He wanted the invisible realm of heaven to be extended to the physical realm. And we've said this many, many times, hand over fist. God lives in the celestial realm. And he wanted to extend his influence onto the terrestrial, which means physical or earthly realm, because terra means uh, earth, planet, dirt, and dust. Yes. And that's who we are. That's what we're made of. We're made of that. Amen. Yeah. And so God's desire at creation was to expand his glory, which means his true essence, mm -hmm. his full weight, yes, his sir. true yes, nature, 
his culture and his values to the earth through the earthly ages, his children call mankind. That's, That's you us. and I. That's right. We said last week that all kingdoms expand. Mm -hmm. And when they expand, it's called colonization. Yes. Mm -hmm. The earth was created by God for the simple purpose of expansion and colonization. Amen. God's motivation for creating the earth and mankind was expansion. Mm -hmm. We've said before that mankind was created by God for the purpose of expanding his kingdom on earth mm -hmm. by it becoming a colony of heaven on the earth. That's right. Mm -hmm. In essence, Adam, our foreparent, mm -hmm. was given rulership over the earth for God's expansion program. God wants you and I to represent heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. Remember that word present and represent means to make known. Mm -hmm. And the prefix RE means again. So every time people of this world see us, we're supposed to be making known the kingdom of heaven over and over and yes. over again. Not by what we say. Come but on, by man. who you are, mm -hmm. because who you are is more important than what you exactly. say. Because a lot of people say a whole lot of things, right. but they don't do what they say. Amen. My great grandmother used to call it calling the kettle, uh, the, the, the pot calling the kettle black or something like that. You know, in other <laughs> words, she would say, you saying something, you telling me to do something, but yet you're not doing it your own self. Yes. That's yes. what Jesus told the Pharisees and the Sadducees. You telling other people to do something, but you don't do it yourself. Mm -hmm. And you can't go around confessing things that you're not really possessing. That's right. You can't right. keep shouting better than you live. That's right. And then you should wear robes and all of that and chains and crosses mm -hmm. around their necks so you can't even keep dressing better than you give it. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember, the Bible tells us that we are ambassadors That's of right. Christ That's and right. his kingdom. Yes. Jesus Christ is king. He is king and Lord. That word Lord, L-O-R-D, means owner Lord. of all. That's right. Yes. Mankind was created by God to expand his kingdom on the earth. Mm -hmm. Now, Isaiah 45 and 18 tells us that God created the earth not to be empty, but to be inhabited. Mm -hmm. That's that right. means to be lived on. That's right. Yes. Amen. Yes. His motivation was to put his children, which are you mm -hmm. and I, or mm -hmm. mankind, on this planet mm -hmm. to manage and rule it. Last week, we read Psalms 8, verses 3 through 6, and Psalms 115, verse 16, which speaks of God's delegated leadership given to mankind in the earth. Amen. This is what he originally intended or purpose. This is what he still wants even today, today. in 2019. And we're almost about to go into 2020 mm -hmm. in a few more weeks. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. 2020? Right. That's amazing. Wow. And I remember, and I'm getting off subject, but I remember when in 1999, when the year 2000 was coming, approaching, everybody was like, oh, man, 2000, the year 2000 is coming. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the end. That's going to be the end of the world. That shows you how much man knows. Gonna fall it's out almost 20 years later. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so we said many times before, God's purpose is unchanging. We talked about how Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 tells us how God executed his plan. Mm -hmm. He said, let us. us, and us in the English language means more than one. Yeah, yeah. So the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit was present. Amen. That's right. That's he right. said, let us make mankind in our image and after our likeness. likeness. That's right. And like we said many, many times before, the word image, I-M-A-G-E, means that you and I can conform to the moral character of God. That's right. Amen. Then he said, Amen. let them have dominion over the earth. Mm -hmm. Remember the word dominion means to govern, mm -hmm. to lead, to master, to rule, to manage, to control, to influence. And he also told us to subdue, That's right. to take control, control of your environment. Exactly. And sometimes in certain situations, the environment is taking control of us. You know, we got dumb plants telling us what to do. Mm -hmm. Come here and drink me. Come here and snort me. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and something that a lot of people will do that's made out of a plant Money's made out of a plan. Wow. And some people, even in the church, even at the leadership level, will do anything to get money. Wow. God told you to take control of your environment. He's told you to subdue it. And you're letting a dumb plant tell you what to do. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Not only did he tell us to do it, he, he, he equipped us right. with the ability to do it. Exactly. You know, so it's like everything he tells us in the word, that means he's enabled us. He's right. With the ability 
and the power to right. get it done. Because one thing, wow. God loves us and he's wow. our father. And God is not going to call you to do a job Without and you. not equip you that's, with the necessary right. gifts and talents right. and resources to finish the job that he's called you to do. That's right. Man or woman in the earth might do that because right. a lot of times they want to see you fail. Mm. But God, our father says, I pray above all things that you prosper. Awesome that you be in health, mm -hmm. even as your soul prospers. Mm -hmm. So God takes care of everything. He takes care of your health, yes. and he takes care of your prosperity. That's right. And not only does he do that, he gives you the resources for it. Exactly. And he's given it to you before he even called. He already had the resources before he even called you to do it. Mm -hmm. wow. That's right. That's because right. Because we know he always he already knows the end from the beginning. He knows your end from the beginning. Mm -hmm. You, you know, know when God said, let them have dominion, he excluded himself. He sure right. did. Exactly. And he has equipped us. So mm -hmm. you hear a lot of people say, I'm waiting on God to do this. Right. I'm waiting on. God has already done He's it. Already he has done put it. everything, the potential, everything, everything that you need That's right. to get it done. Mm -hmm. That's right. So just get up today mm -hmm. and start walking towards what you need to do because you know what it is. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. 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 And, that, and that's true, you know. Mm -hmm. And we have to do it. You have to have faith. But you have to have works too, because James says, uh, "Faith like without works is no good. Right. Neither is work without faith. That's you need right. both. You That's need right. faith and work. That's you need to have faith when you pray to God about something. You have to have faith to believe that what you're praying for is going to come to pass, like His Word yeah. says. But you also have to get up and start walking and working towards what you're praying for. Exactly. That's showing your Father God that you believe what you just prayed about. Right. And, and so, when you talk about walking toward, that doesn't just mean physically. But that means mentally, mentally right. emotionally, exactly. what you say mm -hmm. is important. You gotta align your words with what he said Amen. and believe with what he said. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you do, but it starts with your mind. Yeah. Right. And you, you know, That's what right. you what you think you're gonna say. That's right. You know, so you gotta you can't just think, you know, say, okay, God, you know, with your stripes, I'm already healed. Mm -hmm. And and then, you know, oh later, you know, mm -hmm. I'm still not healed yet. You know, you can, your your words have to yes. align mm -hmm. with you know yes. with what 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 the word of God says right. about you. Mm -hmm. You know, that's right. And the mind is the key. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So God put mankind here on the earth mm -hmm. to tell us why in Genesis. Yes. In Genesis 126 to 128. Yes. We read, many we read of us lot. read that hand over fist exactly. over and over again. We are His spirit. Spiritual sons mm -hmm. living in a dirt suit mm -hmm. on yes. this earth because you real man is spirit man. That's right. And our assignment is to dominate it, to govern it, mm -hmm. to rule earth, and to manage it with the influence from heaven. Hallelujah. We were created to control earth with heaven's influence. Yes. We said that the divine assignment of God for mankind was to establish a colony of the kingdom of heaven here on the earth. Amen. To establish the kingdom government of heaven on earth. That's right. To colonize earth with the culture, culture. of yes. heaven. Yes. To make earth a colony or an extension of heaven. That's what earth is. That's right. It's a colony and it's an extension of heaven. That's right. It's supposed to be a mirror reflection of heaven That's when right. God created it. That's what he had in mind. Amen. It's to fill earth with the culture, nature, and values of the king. And kingdom of heaven, because mm -hmm. God, our Father, is a king. Mm -hmm. Not only is he a king, he is king of kings. Yes, sir. Amen? Yes, sir. And as we've said many, many, many times before, his position on this has not, not changed. changed. Yes. It will never change. Mm -hmm. He still wants his kingdom, kingdom government and culture manifested in the hearts and the minds of the people of earth mm -hmm. so that heaven's culture is manifested throughout the land. Yes. This is the only form of government. I want you to hear this now. Mm -hmm. This is the only form of government that will ever cause earth and the people of earth to function properly. Amen. Because earth was originally designed to function by the kingdom of heaven's government. Mm -hmm. Yes. From the yes. beginning. That's right. From the very beginning. That's right. It's not going to, like you just said, it's not going to, every, you can come up with every social program. You can come up with every mm -hmm. governmental program. Mm -hmm. You can come up with all types of programs to cause things to change. Right. You know, you can come up with the best police, you know, what do yes. they call a public safety plan? Mm -hmm. You can do everything. Right. But if you're not aligning yourself under the original design mm -hmm. of this earth, right. you will never function properly. Right. Amen. Right. You, will never, you know, I was talking to somebody about that on Saturday. I'm like, you know, 
you know, you, you can't, it's the difference between what's right and true versus what sounds good for you. People, mm-hmm. you know, I hear people say all the time, well, you got to do what's good for you. You got to do what works for you, mm-hmm. you know, but it's not a matter of just doing what's good and what's, what, you know, what's, what's, mm-hmm. what's good for you, right. what is right. That's and right. you can only know what's right for you by going back to the manufacturer. The manufacturer, that's what they're talking about. Right. You know, you can. Right. And when you when you go back and do what the manufacturer says, the manufacturer knows exactly what right. he designed right. that thing to do. Exactly. And knows how to get it to function properly. Mm-hmm. Right. But we move away from our manufacturer's instruction. Mm-hmm. And yet we think mm-hmm. that things are going to go well for us. Mm-hmm. 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 Wow. Oh, Lord, and that's true because it's, it's just like our car. Yeah. You know, when we took our car, we have a, a Nissan Titan. Well, we had a Nissan Titan truck. And we took it to a dealer, a dealer to get it fixed. But it wasn't a Nissan dealership. Mm-hmm. It was another dealership. And when I first took it there, they said, oh, we'll have it back in like about three hours. Well, it was like longer than three hours. Matter of fact, it was almost four days. So when I called them, they said, oh, um, we had we ran into problems, so we had to eventually send it to the Nissan dealership. So let me just the correct, manufacturer. So, so let me just kind of correct you. We didn't take it to that dealer on purpose. That's what the insurance company the insurance told company us to take us, it. Yeah. But even even though the insurance company told us to take it there to get it repaired, mm-hmm. wow. they had to go back to the manufacturer right. of the vehicle right. to fix it the right, right. way. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Same thing with us. Right. When mm-hmm. things go wrong, we have to go to the manufacturer. Right. 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 Could nobody. Can't nobody deliver no. you from substance, right. alcohol, or nothing. You right. have to go to the source. Right. He's, the the He's the only one. He's the only one. The only one. He's the only right. one. That's right. That's right. And he knows how we're to operate in the spiritual realm, and he knows how we were supposed to operate in the natural realm. That's right. You know, because the Bible talks about, in the in the Holy Scripture says, one minute says, God created. Mm-hmm. Then you read down a little further, then it talks about he made. That's right. Well, there's a difference between the created and made. Mm-hmm. Create means to make something without a pre-existing That's substance. Right. So that means that God made something from nothing. That's right. And the no, only person that can do that is God. Come mm-hmm. on, man. And Come make on. means to make something with a pre-existing substance. That's right. That's so right. God knows how to operate in the spiritual realm. He knows how to make something without anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And only he can do that. Because he's the only creator. Mm-hmm. Right. He's the only He's creator. the only creator. Nobody else. Said, yeah. uh, you hear a lot of people say, well, I created this sweater. Or I created this shirt. Well, no, you didn't because you used the wool the that, that God gave That's the it. animal That's to it. make it. That's mm-hmm. right. They're so you didn't, really, you didn't make it from anything. You had something to make it from. That's right. And once you have something to make something with, that counts you out from being a creator. He said, you know, everything that was made, that was made to make anything, was created made. by right. God. Already right. made. Right. Mm-hmm. He created it. It says all things was made by him, yeah. and without him was not anything yeah. made that it's which made. is made. Yes. Yes. Nothing. Amen. So Amen. that he tells you right there, I'm the boss. Yeah, you <laughs> I paid the cost. I'm the yeah. only creator. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. So again, when something is not operating as originally intended, it begins to what? Malfunction. Malfunction. Yes. Malfunctioning leads to death and destruction, mm-hmm. which is very evident in all earthly societies today. Every yes, time yes. you turn the news on, you see it. You see destruction and chaos. Mm-hmm. Last week, we also introduced the role of a governor in the kingdom culture. Mm-hmm. We said that the key to colonization is the governor. Mm-hmm. The key to colonization is the governor. Mm-hmm. We said that to colonize a territory, the kingdom must send a governor into the foreign territory to live with the people. Yes. The governor's job is to transform the people into the culture of the kingdom. That's wow. right. His job is to go in there and change them to wow. the kingdom's culture. Yep. The influence of a governor is to make the kingdom manifest in the colony. And we talked about, you know, the context we talked about was the Roman Empire. You know, right. Last week, you mm-hmm. know, that's why Jesus came during the Roman Roman Empire. Exactly. It's a it's a it's a good example. You can't just skip over the fact right. that mm-hmm. he came during that time. That's There's right. a lot to learn right. from looking at the history of what was happening yeah. during that time. Mm-hmm. And so why Jesus had to return to the earth during that, that time. time. Amen. Right. Right. Mm. 
Right. And the Bible says he came in the fullness of time. That, and that's, but when you break that down, the full, fullness of time means he came at the right time. All the, the right conditions time. were means. right. He came at the right time. Yeah. Right. All the conditions were right in the earth mm -hmm. for him to come. That's what that fullness of time means. Right. Absolutely. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you see this happening in the earth during Jesus' earthly ministry. Mm -hmm. The entire known world was under the rule, as you said before, Amen. of the Amen. Roman Empire. Amen. Although the emperor of Rome resided in Rome, yes. Caesar, mm -hmm. the influence in the culture of Rome was manifested in all the areas that it had colonized. That's right. Now, the governors sent from Rome to the foreign territories or colonies was responsible for converting those territories to be just like the home country. That's right. Mm. Well, the Holy Spirit is the governor of the kingdom of heaven. Amen. The Holy Spirit was given to mankind as heaven's governor on the earth. The most important person in the colony is the governor. Let me say Amen. that again. Amen. The most important person in the colony is the governor. That's right. Therefore, the most important person on earth is the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. It's that simple, Amen. right? Right. It's that simple. Amen. Woo. So he is here to turn earth into heaven. Mm -hmm. and not to take earth to heaven. Come on, come Christ on. said that not only will he, the Holy Spirit, be with you, but he will dwell in you. you. Mm -hmm. His job is to teach you everything about the home country, which is heaven, mm -hmm. so that you can rule earth with the influence in the culture of heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Glory wild. be to God. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we said say John the 14th, you should have drank your tea. John the 14th, <laughs> <laughs> so John the 14th chapter where Jesus said that the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. Yes. Come on now. He will teach you all oh, things yes. and he will abide with you forever. That's right. That means he's with us now. Mm -hmm. He lives Those of us. us who receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior. That's right. Now the Holy Spirit is in the earth because he is here to transform earth into the culture of heaven through the colony of humans that submit to his authority. Mm, Amen. Yes, the key is yes. that submit. submit. Because, submit. you know, he can be, you can, you know, you could have received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life, cleansed by the blood, mm -hmm. you know, and, and filled with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. But the key is you must submit to right. his authority. Right. Although he's dwelling into you, he's, he's, the Holy Spirit is not going to usurp your authority. Mm -hmm. no. So you have to submit to his authority. Right. That's right. key. That's mm. right. And that's key because I remember when I was in a uh, ministerial class, they said, what's the chief sign of being a son or a child of God? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people said speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. That was the answer. And I said, well, I believe that speaking in tongues is a true sign also. But I said, I think the greatest sign of being a son or a child of God is your submission to and your obedience to the Father. That's right. Looking at the life of Jesus, mm -hmm. everything he did was to submit his will to do not what he wanted to do, That's but right. to do the will of the Father. That's right. Because I've seen a lot of people speak in tongues, and then five, ten minutes later, I've seen the same people speak in cursing tongues. Mm. You know, so, and I'm not knocking that because it is a true sign, but I believe the true sign and the greatest sign of being a, as, as being a son of God mm -hmm. and a child of God and a citizen of the kingdom is your submission to the will of the Father. That's right. You have to learn to submit your will to do the will of the Father. And that's what Jesus taught us mm -hmm. during his ministry yeah. three years and a half that he was here on the earth. That's right. Everything he did, he said, the things that I do are not of my own. That's right. Man. I do them because of the Father. Father. The things that I say and speak are not of my own. I say them because of the Father, because I and the Father are oh, one. Mm -hmm. That's right. One in thought, one in choice, one in mind, one in everything. Yes. And that's what he was trying to teach us. We have to be one with him. That's right. Because we're in him and he's in the Father. And the Father's in all of us. Amen. Once we submit to the Lord Jesus Christ, you sure? Amen. So, again, last week we also spent time talking about the goal of colonization and kingdom. Colonization. We said that colonization is the extension of a kingdom mm -hmm. to a foreign territory. Mm -hmm. Colonization is accomplished through dispatching the governor to the colony. That's yes. right. Establishing a colony of citizens in the foreign territory. Mm -hmm. We said that you must have citizens from the home territory in the colony 
implementing the culture of the kingdom in that territory. Mm -hmm. See, if you've ever heard the saying, when in Rome, you was just talking about this, Sister Cook, mm -hmm. you and uh, Bishop, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. That's right. Colonization is where this saying came from. That's right. It was That's illegal right. for you. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So again, it was illegal mm -hmm. right. to not function according to Rome's Roman rule. That's right. It was illegal not to function according to We have many, many stories in the Bible when certain people of the kingdom didn't function according to the uh, rules of the Romans. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? So when you lived in a Roman territory, you had to operate and function according to their rules. That's Amen? right. That's right. We said last week, when you are in a colony, you do mm -hmm. as the kingdom does. That's right. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is why Jesus told his disciples to petition or pray that the will of the king of heaven be done in the earth. Amen. He said, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on, on earth, earth just, just like it is in heaven. heaven. That's right. We said that colonization means that you must create a community that reflects the kingdom. Mm -hmm. wow. That's what God wanted from the beginning. That's, and that's what the he still the wants. colony of earth was supposed to be a mere reflection of heaven. And that's what he still wants. And that's what he wants now. Yes. And it's not going to function properly until that happens. Mm. Mm. That's why it's not functioning so great right, right now. Right. Yeah. You know, all of the stress and that that is that is being experienced in the world is because of that. Because right. Because we've not we're not living according to what he was right. intended and purposed. Because he, he gave us the manual, which is the Bible. And the Bible is our constitution. Not only did he give us the manual, he gave us his spirit. Right. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. he gave us do the spirit. It. Exactly. He enabled us with the ability to do everything that, that he, he said. Called right. 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 That's right. Amen. That's right. Mm. So you have to produce a, district, a distinctive society in the colony, which for the kingdom of God is yes. on the earth. Amen. We said last week that if you study the Bible carefully, mm -hmm. you will find in the teachings of Christ mm -hmm. that he came to do all things included in this list. Yes, he did. Jesus came to return the governor of the kingdom of heaven to the earth. Yes. Who is who? The Holy, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Yeah, right. He came to reinstate citizens of the kingdom to a position of authority. That's right. He came to restore us back to our original position that we have of God the Father as God. That's right. That's right. Because and I said as God because Jesus said, Did I not say that ye are oh, gods? God. Amen. Jesus right. told us that we were God. That's right. So if he told us, who can debate that? Yeah. Right. He came to reinstate citizenships of the kingdom back to their authority. He came to produce the culture of heaven in the colony of earth. Mm -hmm. Jesus also came to establish a kingdom community on the earth. Mm -hmm. And Jesus came to earth to produce a heavenly society. Yes. We said that colonization is successful and complete when the culture of the king and kingdom is fully That's manifested right. in the colony on the earth. Amen. Success, successful colonization means that the true nature of the king is reflected in all aspects of the colony. Yes. That's powerful. Yes. Yes. The true nature of the king is reflected Yes. In all aspects of the colony. Yes. Successful colonization also means that the colony is an exact, exact, yes. exact. I said it three times. I want you to get this in your spirit. It's an exact prototype of the kingdom manifested in the colony. Mm -hmm. We said if you want to measure if colonization was successful in a foreign territory, this is the true measure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is the kingdom's culture manifested in a colony? Mm, wow. Today? Mm. Is the kingdom's culture manifested in the colony? The question is, is heaven's culture manifested in this colony? Called that's, what I'm, that's what I'm getting at. Mm. Is the kingdom's culture manifested in a colony of the earth? No, it isn't. No. Mm -hmm. When you come to the colony, you should not have to go to the kingdom. Yes. Because the culture is so well manifested, you can see it. Come on. Come in on. the colony colony that you had the exact same experience in the colony as you would have in the kingdom. Now, let me break this down. God is saying that when you come to earth, because we're supposed to be his ambassadors and representatives, Amen. people should just look at us. We shouldn't have to say anything. Mm -hmm. But when they look at us, they should see the, the reflection and the mirror reflection of heaven's culture yes. through us and yes. on this earth. That's right. Yes. And our actions, you know, where right. you work, you know, whatever you do, you know, you should be reflecting 
what heaven is like. Amen. Amen. You know, Amen. You, you should be reflecting the, the culture of the king of heaven. Mm -hmm. And and so if you look at the earth today and the manifestation, well, the people of earth, mm -hmm. the things that you know people are doing right. are not in alignment with the right. word of God. So right. you're not seeing the manifestation it's of heaven's right. culture mm -hmm. in the earth, right. which is what God has originally wanted for Amen. all of us. And, and you know what? It, we should be now far, 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 way past where we are now. Because you, you shouldn't have to have somebody looking over you to operate and function and do the right thing. That's right. It's supposed to be in your it's heart. It's supposed to be in your heart. heart. Right. Exactly. So if it, that's what King David taught his son Solomon, to love God mm -hmm. and to be obedient, submit your will mm -hmm. to do the will of your father that's God. That's right. That's right. You know? And he was teaching them because King David, the Bible says, was a man of God's own heart. Well, that's God right. said it, that's and right. he was a man of his own and heart. He testified exactly. That's what it said. He testified that that David was a man after his own heart. Right. God testified. Right. It says in the Book of Acts, God testified that David had a heart after his own heart right. because David would do what God said he would do. That's exactly. what he said. You that's know, right. he said David had a had his heart because David would do exactly what he said he would do. That's right. So we question ourselves, you know, are we doing, you know, can we say that we have a heart of God like David did? Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, are we doing exactly what God said mm -hmm. we should do? Right. Mm -hmm. So the culture should be, heaven's culture should be manifested in the earth and or the colony of earth. Through the in people. us, through exactly. the people. Right. That's right. That's because we, as we have already said, culture is not in the land. land. It's, in right. the right. it's in the people. That's right. It's in the people. It's in the people. You know, it's just like when we were in um, D.C. and we went down this one street. <laughs> the whole street looked like China. And it was Chinese stores and everything. Chinatown. China, it was Chinatown. Yeah. You know, and that's what it really looked like Chinatown. I mean, everything. Mm -hmm. from the China. You couldn't go down there and get no hot dog either yeah. or no hamburger. <laughs> you could get Chinese food and other things from their culture. Exactly. You know? And a lot of people were going there. Yeah. Right. You yeah. know? Mm -hmm. So... As an example, we read uh, John chapter 14, verses 6 through 14, where, where Jesus tells Philip, mm. if you have seen me, You've you seen have seen the Father. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. He just said that. Mm -hmm. In other words, you don't have to go to heaven to check the Father out because the Father was manifested in the Son. That's right. He's manifested in me. He said, you've yes. seen, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. That's right. That's because right. I and the Father are one. All one. Yes. Colonization is the manifestation of a, of a kingdom's influence in a foreign territory. Mm. Now, we asked a question last week. Can we say that the culture of earth reflects the culture of heaven clearly? The answer is no. No. Mm. No. Like, like on Bill Cosby case it. <laughs> no, in, the, in another culture, they say no say. No say. We say when a colony threatens the kingdom with independence, it is called rebellion. Let me say that again. We say when a colony threatens the kingdom with independence, it's called rebellion. Mm -hmm. Rebellion in Hebrew is spelled what? S I N. Sin. However, you declare independence from a kingdom. You are rebelling. Let me say that again. Whenever you declare independence from a kingdom, you and I are rebelling against the influence or the authority of that kingdom wow. over the colony. That's right. So the fall of man was not the fall from heaven. Mm -hmm. It was a fall of dominion rulership under the rule of heaven. That's right. That's Therefore, the fall of man was the declaration of independence from the, the kingdom. kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Adam declared independence from heaven and earth became an independent colony under mm. its own government. Mm. Wow. Under its own government. That's mm -hmm. dangerous. Under its own. Yes, that is dangerous. Mm. And it's dangerous now, the way we're operating now. Yes, yes it is. In 2019, going into 2020. Mm -hmm. Earth had to create its own government and is still doing it today. Mm. There have been more wars since the United Nations was formed. When they were they were formed to be a peacekeeping organization, right. exactly. And, you know, so that's the significance of that. They they were created were originally created to be a peacekeeping organization to keep peace throughout all right. the nations of the world. Mm -hmm. But there've been more wars. There's since been they more wars war. since right, right. Mm -hmm. Which means they're not effective, right? And they're not effective because they're not operating according to the kingdom, exactly. Culture, exactly. And man, mm -hmm. and constitution, which is the Bible. <laughs> We talked about how in 
First Samuel, the eighth chapter, mm -hmm. God warned yes, the Israelites against an earthly government. Mm -hmm. yeah. He told them that they did not want an earthly king. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He wanted to be their king. Mm -hmm. He has always wanted our lives to be governed by his kingship. kingship. Amen. We said that Adam did not lose a religion when he fell. He lost the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Mankind lost the governing control over earth to a fallen angel called Lucifer. Yeah. Mankind keeps thinking that religion is the answer, mm -hmm. and it is not. Mm -hmm. Religion is the problem. The problem. Yes. Independence required the recall of the governor, the Holy Spirit, back to heaven. Mm -hmm. He had to go back. Mm -hmm. See, once you cut off relationship from the kingdom, the governor becomes illegal in, in the territory. territory. That's right. And that's when death happens. Yes. The Lord says, once you are disobedient to me, once you rebel against what I'm telling you to do, you will surely die. Yeah. And like I said, death to God is not like death is to us. Mm -hmm. Death to us is our co-worker, or friend, or family member passes. We go to the funeral, we go to the wake, we go to the burial ground. Mm -hmm. And that's what death is to us, to see them off, you know. Mm -hmm. But death to God is was what happened when the governor left Adam and Eve and went back to the heavenly college, right. home, home country. Mm. You know, death, and people, you know, people miss that. When you read the book of Genesis, death basically coexisted with life, with mm -hmm. mankind on the earth. Mm -hmm. But death had no power right. over mankind right. until mankind rebelled against it God's authority. Right. Exactly. God said, when you do you know when you do this what he told them not to do he said you will surely die so right. so mankind basically gave power to mm -hmm. death right to kill him right by oh, disobeying god's word exactly but thank god for jesus christ right. that he Amen. conquered death hell and the right. on our behalf he came to give it back Amen. he came to reconcile us back That's right. to yeah. the kingdom colin yes Amen. he did yes he so did. again we said that when adam rebelled against god yeah the Holy Spirit, this is this is a definition for death, mm. which Jesus said, if you disobey me, then you will surely die, mm -hmm. which is death. This is an example. This is a definition of it. The Holy Spirit had to leave the colony and go back to heaven. That's right. Now, that's death. So the Holy Spirit could no longer, you know, like the Bible says, strive with man, could right. not live in us. Right. right. You know, so so the Holy Spirit that lived in Adam had to depart from Adam right. and yeah. go back. So mankind was was separated from the entity that was required to live pro productively right. and successfully in life. And he had to and leave because once Adam declared independence, which is sin, mm -hmm. and rebelled against God's word, mm -hmm. then when it happened in that house, there was two hosts. There was um, the heaven, the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. and there was sin. And the Holy Spirit... And, and sin can't be together. Yeah, the Bible sin. says, what does light and darkness have in common? Right, nothing. Darkness is representing sin, and light represents the kingdom. That's right. Or well, wisdom and knowledge. Right, but the Bible also says God and sin cannot dwell in the same place. They can't dwell in the same place. That's exactly. why he had to leave. He exactly. couldn't stay there. Mm. Yeah, that even we can go a bit further, because before Jesus went to the cross, the Holy Spirit couldn't dwell within us. That's right. He had to go to, to the cross to redeem us That's back right. to the Father. That's so right. when, the, when the Spirit of God came upon the saints or the men of God or women of God, the Bible says that he came up on them That's or right. upon them. Right. When Samson would get his strength, the Bible says that the, the, the Spirit of God would come up on him. Mm -hmm. It couldn't come in him because mm -hmm. Jesus hadn't gone to the cross. Exactly. And we said light and darkness can't be in the same place. Absolutely. So it couldn't get in him. So that's why Jesus had to go to the cross so that we could receive the governor, the Holy Spirit, back yes, in us. Yes. He reconciled us back. That's right. Together. That's right. And reconcile means to bring him back together, together, two different groups, two different parties, two different governments. That's right. Or two different situations or circumstances. Mm -hmm. And that's what Jesus did. He reconciled us back mm -hmm. to the Father. Amen. 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 So we became an earth without God. That's sad. The book of Isaiah, chapter 53, verse 6 says that we all like sheep have gone oh, astray, each man to his own way. Mm. However, the Lord solved the problem by laying the sins and the iniquity of all mankind on one man named Jesus the Christ. Amen. Jesus, we just said this, reconciled mankind back to the kingdom. 
we said that um, to reconcile means to bring back together or reconnect them. Mm -hmm. How did he do this? Mm -hmm. Jesus did this by giving mankind back what we lost. What we lost. Mm -hmm. what we, lost. Mm -hmm. we said that the redemptive work of God is very, very clear. Mm -hmm. The goal of redemption, of redemption is this. Mm -hmm. The return of the governor, yes. who is the Holy Spirit, yes. to the colony called Earth. Right. If you declare independence from the colony, the first thing to restore the kingdom is the return of the governor. Yes. Redemption must begin with the return of the governor. Mm -hmm. Redemption must begin with the return of the governor. Yes. The goal of redemption is the restoration of citizens. Right. The goal of redemption is the reclamation or reclaiming of the territory that's right you have to claim the land back yes the goal of redemption is the reinstatement of the culture of the kingdom mm. the goal of redemption is re-establishment is the re-establishment of the community in the colony mm. yes. and the goal of redemption is the regaining of society in the colony and the goal of redemption is the rewarding of the colony for submission again in other words, you begin blessing the colony. Yes. We said when you are under a kingdom, the kingdom does everything for you. Mm -hmm. yes. When you rebel against the kingdom, you do everything for yourself. Yes. yes. In Matthew chapter 6, Christ said, what do, why do you worry about what you're going to eat and Come drink? On. Or on. even the clothes that you will wear? Come on. He said to seek to enter into the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. and everything you need will be added. Everything. Yes. The reward means no struggle, no stress, and no strain. But when you are on your own, it says in Proverbs 13, verse 15, the way of the transgressor, the sinner, or the rebellious one against the kingdom is hard, mm. and it leads to their destruction. Yes. Your life is hard if you continue. Listen, mm. listen. I want you to get this in your spirit. Your life is going to be hard, and your life is hard mm. if you continue to rebel against the government of God yes. and go your own way. Yes. You were not designed by the Creator to mm -hmm. live any other way than under His kingdom, governmental authority. Amen. 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 That's the only way you were meant to live. Amen. The Amen. Thank Amen. you for that review. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Wow. So now let's move into part yes. two of the kingdom principle of culture. Amen. Amen. Let's begin by chasing the answer to this question. Why did God send Jesus Christ into the earth? I'm glad you asked, because we're going to chase the answer to it. Amen. <laughs> Jesus came. Jesus Christ was the king coming to the territory. This earth was his territory. Mm -hmm. Amen. The goal of Jesus Christ to, was, was to restore mankind back to what we lost. Amen. That's why he came. Amen. Luke 19 and 10 says, The Son of Man has come to seek and, and save, save that, not who, mm -hmm. that, that was lost. which was lost. Don't miss that. Mm -hmm. He came to seek and save that which was lost. Mm -hmm. So what did mankind lose? Mm -hmm. The simple answer is this. Mankind lost the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. yes. who's the governor of the kingdom. Yeah. Mankind lost the kingdom, mm. which is a heavenly government with all of its rights and benefits, yes. right? We lost the earth. We lost control of the territory. Mm -hmm. Adam relinquished it to an unemployed sheriff named Lucifer. Lucifer. He was fired. He was a he was a he was a, he was an archangel. Mm -hmm. He was a chief you know, one of the, 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 the chief cherubims, mm -hmm. but he, we all know the story. He disobeyed God's, mm -hmm. you know, he tried to exalt himself above God. Yeah, he so he got it. fired. Yeah. So mm -hmm. he deceived mankind. And we should, we say Adam was not deceived because mm -hmm. he went into what he did with his eyes wide open. Mm -hmm. He just, re, he, he, he did not obey God's command. Mm -hmm. So the bottom line is when he disobeyed God's command, he relinquished the control of earth to Lucifer. Mm -hmm. yes. So that's when another world entered into mm -hmm. this world, the original mm -hmm. world. And it's important to know when we talk about world, we're not talking about terra firma. We're not talking about mm -hmm. the physical earth. We're talking about the controlling system, mm -hmm. the controlling system of earth, the controlling system of earth before the fall of man was the kingdom of heaven's government on this earth. Mm -hmm. So when Adam relinquished rulership to, to Lucifer, another world came onto this mm -hmm. earth. There were two worlds. Mm -hmm. there, was, there was 
the, the control <coughs> of Lucifer and the original world, which was the kingdom of God, which had to depart mm -hmm. because another world came into existence and that same world still exists today. Amen. Mankind also mm -hmm. lost the culture, which is the lifestyle of heaven mm -hmm. and mankind lost the community which is the country or nation of heaven. So this list represents why Christ had to return to earth. He did not come back to earth to bring a religion. <coughs> he came to restore a country. Amen. He came to bring the government of heaven and the influence of heaven back to earth. Amen. Amen. So let's look at what the prophet Isaiah said, you know, talked about. Um, he prophesied about what the Messiah was coming to return to earth. I'm going to ask Sister Diane to go to Isaiah, the ninth chapter. And mm -hmm. you go there with us, Isaiah 9. We're going to read verses 6 through 7. And I know we've read this many times before, but we're going to continue to read it because this is what Jesus came to earth to do. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. And it reads, For to us a child is born, mm -hmm. to us a son is given, mm -hmm. and the government will be on his shoulder. What's going to be on his shoulder? A government. Okay. A government or the government? And his government. Amen. Amen. And the government. The. That's right. <coughs> the. That, that means that there are the no Lord. other. Exactly. The government. The right government is going to be yes. on his shoulders. Amen. Yes. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, mm -hmm. Mighty God, mm -hmm. Everlasting Father, mm -hmm. Prince of Peace, Amen. of the greatness of his government and peace. There will be no end. No end. He will reign on David's stone, throne mm -hmm. and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Mm -hmm. Will accomplish it. Mm -hmm. So that's what Jesus returned to the earth. Mm -hmm. And you know, many many places, especially this time of year in churches, you hear this all the time. You know, they 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 re relate this scripture to one associated with mm -hmm. the Christmas season. Mm -hmm. right. So it is related, but 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 to 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 confine it to the confines of the Christmas season. It, it, it just yes. really um, <laughs> takes away from the significance of what this is saying, right. basically. So right. anyway, so, so now if you look in Matthew, the 12th chapter, Jesus is speaking about the return of the owner or the Lord of all to his territory. Mm -hmm. We're going to read Matthew, the 12th chapter, verses 22 to 29. I'm going to ask Diana to go there with us and, and read that for us. You go as well. Matthew, the 12th chapter, verses 22 to 29. Amen. Then they brought him a demon-possessed man who was blind and mute. And Jesus healed him mm -hmm. so that he could both talk and see. Mm -hmm. All the people was astonished and said, mm -hmm. Could this be the son of David? Mm -hmm. But when the Pharisees heard this, they said, it is only Bezabar, mm. the prince of demons, that this fellow drives out demons. Mm. Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, every kingdom divided against itself will be ruined, mm. and every city or household divided against itself will not stand. Mm. If Satan drives out Satan, he is divided against himself. Mm. How then can his kingdom stand? Mm -hmm. And if I drive out demons by Bezabar, by whom do you people drive them out? Mm -hmm. So then they will be your judges. Mm -hmm. But if it is by the Spirit of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God will come upon you. Mm -hmm. Or again, how can anyone enter a strong man's house mm. and carry off the possession unless he first ties up the strong right. man? Finds the strong yep. man. Mm. Then he can plunder his house. Amen. 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 So in verse 28, Jesus says, if I drive out the demons by the Spirit of God, uh -huh. then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Come on. This means a greater 
another, a greater, more powerful government is here, which is, you know, we talk about miracles, right? And Jesus is saying this, you know, this is what he's basically saying. These things that we look at as miracles, mm -hmm. they're not miracles. Mm -hmm. They're just the evidence of the presence Amen. of a greater Amen. government. Amen. 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 They're the evidence that the kingdom government is in the earth. So he's saying, if I drive out this spirit, you know, this demon by the spirit of God, mm -hmm. then that means the kingdom of God is here. Amen. Amen. So in verse 29, Jesus says, or again, how can anyone enter a strong man's house and yes. carry up his carry out his possessions mm -hmm. unless he first ties up or binds the strong man? Mm -hmm. Then he can rob and spoil his house. Amen. So in these passages of scripture, Jesus is speaking about the devil. Mm -hmm. The devil, remember, Adam relinquished the control of earth mm -hmm. to Satan. Yeah. Jesus came to restore. To, 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 to take back right. that which was lost. Yes. That's what was lost. Yes. We lost the control of earth. Jesus came back to take back what was lost. So before he could take back what was, which was lost, he says, how can you, you know, enter into and take the possessions of, a, 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 of the strong man's house except you first bind the strong man? Mm -hmm. So that's what he had to do. Come on, man. Jesus came back to earth Ooh. because someone took his property. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he wanted it back. He wanted it back. Amen. Mm -hmm. He came to take back the property, but he first needed to take care of the devil who stole the management contract mm -hmm. of earth. Amen. Calvary and the cross was a means to an end. Was it was means. not the end. Mm -hmm. It was the means to the end. Mm -hmm. It was there that Jesus began the process of regaining the rightful ownership of earth. Mm -hmm. It was one man, Adam, who gave it up. Mm -hmm. It was one man, Jesus, who had to take it back again. Right. Mm -hmm. Christ came to earth, and the devil says that the prince, the price to get earth back, you know, was was the, the price. Let me say this again. I'm getting excited here, Father. Mm -hmm. The <laughs> devil says that the price of the contract it's is sin. sin. Amen. But remember, Christ had no sin. Remember come that? On, so we, we, we'll get to that part. Mm -hmm. So God, for, for God had made him, the Bible tells us, Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. to be sin for us. Yes. It says that he who knew no sin did right. what? He, he became change. sin mm -hmm. that he might become the righteousness yes. of God, yes. that we could become the righteousness of God mm -hmm. in him. Amen. And we've read this before in 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter. Mm -hmm. Christ paid the contract. It didn't matter to him what it cost mm -hmm. because it was his property to regain. Right. Yes. Therefore, Christ died. He paid the price, mm -hmm. taking on your sins and my sins. Uh -huh. He went to hell. Come on. He took three keys, three keys. Mm -hmm. He took three keys from the devil. Come on. Come what on. those three keys? Death. Yeah. Hell, hell and, and the grave. Amen. So death, hell, and the grave mm -hmm. have no power over, over you, you right. if you are have received Jesus Christ as Lord and you're the Savior of your mm -hmm. life. Christ destroyed the capacity of the devil to control humanity ever again. Amen. Amen. Let me say that Glory again. Hear what I'm saying. If you are in Christ, mm -hmm. if you have received the shed blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, if you are born again, if you are filled with the Holy Spirit, Come on. then that means you have been reconciled unto God's family as his children. Mm -hmm. And you have been restored unto your kingdom citizenship authority with full rights and benefits. Amen. Christ destroyed the capacity of the devil to control you ever again. Amen. Therefore, if he the devil is controlling your life. Mm -hmm. There's something in your life that's giving him the permission to do mm -hmm. it. And that's what you need to figure out because the Bible tells us that people are destroyed for a lack of, of knowledge. knowledge. Ignorance does not exempt you from the consequences of not knowing mm -hmm. what is true mm -hmm. and what is right according to the God's kingdom principles, mm -hmm. which is why we're teaching what we're teaching. Mm -hmm. This is why the Bible says in all you're yeah. getting to get understanding. Amen. And then it goes on to say that wisdom is the principal Amen. thing. Amen. And we've said this a hundred times. You cannot do what you, you do not know nor understand. understand. Amen. 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 And that's as simple as that. Christ came to get his land back. Mm -hmm. 
He came Amen. to reclaim the territory. And he said, you cannot take over a strong man's house mm. except you first bind the strong man. Amen. And that's what he came to do, mm -hmm. to bind the strong man so he could get back the control of earth. Therefore, you, mankind, can now, because he did this, mm -hmm. you can go get the spoils. You can go mm -hmm. plunder. You can you can take control of the earth again. Amen? Amen. As he spoke about in Matthew, the 12th chapter. Amen. You can repossess the earth. Mm -hmm. You can now do what it tells you what Genesis and Genesis 126. Mm -hmm. You can subdue it. You can yes. control the earth. Yeah. You can now again have dominion over the earth. That's what Christ came to, to reclaim his territory and to give mankind the controlling authority of earth over once again. Amen. But you know what, Sister Cook? A lot of people don't believe that. But it's constantly going to the four walls of a building called the church yeah. mm -hmm. and worship the cross. Mm. We go to a morgue every Sunday and worship a cross. Mm. Wow. wow. Mm. Uh, oh. It's for those who choose. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because God makes it a very, you know what? God would not allow you to be ignorant about anything. Mm -hmm. If you desire. I'm Amen. just so grateful that one day I came to a place where mm -hmm. I chose. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Because I was that one yeah. worshiping mm -hmm. a dead place, yeah. a morgue, yeah. mm -hmm. the cross. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is mm -hmm. the means. It is the way. It is not the end. It is not the end. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It is not the end. Amen. But I'm so glad that I cried out to him yeah. and God introduced me mm -hmm. to the whole truth. So Amen. what did he tell you? I feel so whole. Mm -hmm. I am complete Amen. because of because of the kingdom of God. Amen. Because of the government mm -hmm. lives in me. Amen. I have authority. That's right. I am a king. That's right. I am an ambassador. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All of these things, and I'm constantly and continuously learning the kingdom because Amen. it takes a lifetime. Amen. Amen. You to get transformed, mm -hmm. it only take a minute. Just give your heart to it. Mm -hmm. That takes a minute. But that mm -hmm. process. To get that process yes. in a while right. because of my mind right. has to be transformed right. and I think it. Mm -hmm. And that's why Paul said, be ye transformed by the renewing right. of, right. of your mind. Change the way, and that's what Jesus was saying, change the way you've been trained to think. Mm -hmm. He said, repent, in Matthew 4 and 17, he says, repent. Change the way, mm -hmm. change your thinking, mm -hmm. because the kingdom government is here. Mm -hmm. Heaven's government is back in the earth. Mm -hmm. I brought it with me. Yes. Amen. Amen. He's saying, he's Amen. saying it's here. Well, that's what we lost. He come to restore what we yes. lost. It's yeah. not heaven that we lost. Yes. Right. We yes. did not lose Bingo. heaven. That's that's right. Right. We lost dominion that's in the right. earth. That's that's right. Right. We are kings. That's right. That's right. He's the king, and we're the king of the king. Amen. That's right. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. So a king needs a territory to rule. Right. Right. There you go. All right. You talked about that, right? Yeah. That's Domain. Right. Mm -hmm. So once again, you can possess the earth. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. You can subdue it. You can control it. Yes. You can have dominion over the earth. Mm -hmm. And then he tells us to make disciples of all nations, all nations and to teach them to obey everything that I commanded you. Well, what did he command them to do? Mm -hmm. To teach the kingdom. Right. He said this gospel of the kingdom must be preached in all oh. the world before mm -hmm. the end will come. We're going to read that today. Mm -hmm. But let's go to Matthew. I want to go to Matthew. I'm going to ask Aaron to go to Matthew 28. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. read Matthew the 28th chapter. And we're going to read verses 16 to 17, Aaron. Amen. 16 through 17. 16 to 20, 20. I mean. I'm sorry. 16 okay. to 20. Mm. All right, you go there also at home. Matthew 28, verses 16 through mm -hmm. 20. And it reads as such. Then the 11 disciples went away into Galilee, mm -hmm. into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. Mm -hmm. And when they saw him, they worshiped him, mm -hmm. but some doubted. Mm -hmm. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven mm -hmm. and in the earth. That's right. Go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So he said all authority all mm -hmm. had been given to him. Mm -hmm. All authority mm -hmm. in heaven and on earth has been given to me. 
That's why in other places he said, you know, anything you ask the Father in my name, in my that's name. The, authority. the authority. He mm -hmm. says, I confer on you a kingdom just like mm -hmm. my Father conferred on me. Lord. He is giving you and I mm -hmm. the authority. He's binded the strong man. He's He's recaptured the control of earth mm -hmm. and he's given us back what he originally had given us in the very beginning. Amen. Amen? Mm -hmm. So now we can go and do likewise. Right. Amen? Amen. He says, you know, in my name, that's the authority. So when you petition heaven, you can't go in Diane's name no, it and you work. can't go in Aaron's mm -hmm. name and you can't go in Annette's name. You have to go. If you want heaven to met you, if you want heaven to, to, you want to give heaven the permission, you have to go in the name of the authority that you've been given. Mm -hmm. And that is in, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Amen. 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 So Christ came to get back the colony. Mm -hmm. It came to get back the control of the territory of earth back. Mm -hmm. He binds the strong man, uh -huh. who is the devil. Mm -hmm. Mankind can now repossess our possessions. Mm -hmm. We own this earth. Yes. So say this with me. The devil owns nothing. The, the devil, devil owns, owns nothing. nothing. Say it again. He the, owns the, nothing. He owns nothing. nothing. Right. So people call music devil music. The reality is he owns he nothing. Owns right. nothing. People Amen. call money devil money. The devil owns nothing. nothing. He owns nothing. Amen. Jesus took back the house and yes, told sir. the children to take the spoils. Yes. Amen. <laughs> if Adam lost the kingdom and the government, Christ would have to come to bring back, you know, to, to, to back to bring them back to the colony. Amen. So, Amen. so, 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 oh, how do we know that Jesus brought the kingdom back with him? How do we know this? Well, we read it in Isaiah. Mm -hmm. right. Isaiah prophesied, but how do we know that Jesus brought the kingdom back? Mm -hmm. So everybody out there that has a question about this, we're not going to read all these scriptures, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to walk through them with, with you. you. Amen. Yeah. So Matthew, the third chapter, we know Jesus, we know John the Baptist, we call him what? The forerunner? Yes. Mm -hmm. He was the he was the one going before the Christ, mm -hmm. you know, saying, make, you know, make clear the way yes. because the kingdom is here. So mm -hmm. Matthew, the third chapter, verses one through three, John the Baptist says, you know, he's the forerunner. He preaches what? The kingdom, kingdom is, is here, here. Right? right? At hand means mm -hmm. what? As here. Here. Yes. Amen. Yes. So what did Jesus, Matthew 14 and 17? Jesus' first public message was what? Repent. Repent. Change your thinking mm -hmm. because what? The kingdom, the kingdom is, is here. here. That's Matthew, in Matthew 4 and 17. 4 and 17. So mm -hmm. Matthew 3, 5 and 3. Matthew 6 and 33. Mm -hmm. Matthew 13 and 11. Mm -hmm. Matthew 13 and 24. Mm -hmm. Matthew 23 and 13. Jesus preaches mm -hmm. the kingdom. Amen. That's what he brought back with him. Amen. And Luke 43 and Luke 9 and 11 mm -hmm. and Luke 12, 23 to 32 mm -hmm. and Luke 16 and 16. Jesus does what? He preaches Jesus the kingdom. kingdom. Amen. That's what he brought back for with him. Mm. And then, as we were talking about earlier in Matthew 24, he tells us, you know, um, he tells his disciples that he's not returning until the right message is preached. Amen. 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 So let's read this. I'm going to ask Aaron to go to Amen. Matthew 24. Mm -hmm. We're going to Matthew 24 and you read verses 1 through 14. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Amen. Matthew 24, 1 through 14. 14. Amen. Amen. And you at home go there also. Matthew 24, mm -hmm. verses 1 through 14. Mm -hmm. And it reads, And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. Mm -hmm. And his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another mm -hmm. that shall not be thrown down. Mm -hmm. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Mm -hmm. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Mm -hmm. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, mm -hmm. and shall deceive many. And that's happening before mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. 
See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, mm -hmm. but the end is not yet. Mm -hmm. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Mm -hmm. And there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes, and diverse places, many places. Mm -hmm. All these are the beginning of sorrow. Mm -hmm. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, mm -hmm. and they shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Mm -hmm. And then shall many be offered, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and that's happened already also, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Mm -hmm. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Mm -hmm. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness mm -hmm. unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Read that last one again. Yeah. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Keep going. Okay. And this gospel of the kingdom of religion. And this gospel <laughs> of... It ain't say no religion. It didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come. And in the NIV, it say, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world mm -hmm. as a testimony mm -hmm. to all nations, and then the end will come. Amen. Did it say the gospel of Jesus Christ? No, sir. Did it say Calvary? No. Nope. Did it say born again? No. Nope. Nope. Did it say being saved? No. Nope. Nope. What did it say? The this kingdom. gospel, the, kingdom. the gospel, this of the gospel kingdom. of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. Before what? The end comes. So people think we're the, the end is not going to come. See, we say we don't know when Jesus is going to return. Mm -hmm. We don't know the exact time or hour. But he's saying that he is not even positioning himself to return no. mm -hmm. until this gospel of the, kingdom of the kingdom is preached in every nation, which is every ethnos, mm -hmm. every grouping of people, not only north, south, east, and west, but mm -hmm. demonstrated right. in every grouping of people. Mm -hmm. We're going to do this teaching one day. Mm -hmm. Somehow we're going to For a witness, a witness, a witness, a witness, a witness until... All the nations. That's right. All the nations. And then the end will come. And then the end will come. And so, so, you know, I've heard some people, you know, and, and this is one of the reasons why we tell people, you know, if you're looking at this, and I'll say it again for the first time today, what we're saying to you is not going to make sense. Mm -hmm. You have to go back and do your own study. We've mm -hmm. got all the teachings out there. Go back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, people that have it, are in church, they don't understand what we're saying mm -hmm. but the bible clearly tells you that this gospel of the kingdom mm -hmm. must be preached to all the world to every nation before the end of this age as we know it will happen mm -hmm. yeah. if you don't understand what this kingdom is mm -hmm. then you're missing the whole point mm -hmm. the kingdom is not a religion no, it's the not. kingdom is not a church the kingdom is a government ruled mm -hmm. by a king. Mm -hmm. If you don't understand these things conceptually, then you're missing what this says. Amen. So Amen. like Dr. Miles says, you might as well pack it, you know, unpack your bags. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because Jesus is not coming back anytime mm -hmm. soon because mm -hmm. this message it's has not. to be preached. Mm -hmm. He didn't say the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that's mm -hmm. and see, you know what? Somebody asked, uh, you know, some time ago, how have we missed this? How has the church missed this? Mm -hmm. So the bottom line is you don't get this in your seminaries. Mm -hmm. no, you, don't. you don't get it in your Bible colleges. Mm -hmm. You know, if you read all of the books that are produced by seminarians, mm -hmm. none of it teaches the kingdom like this, no. which is the reason why we use Dr. Miles' material, mm -hmm. because he's the only one mm -hmm. who's done the level of research mm -hmm. into this topic. Right. That is scripturally supported. And right. that's why you can't dispute it mm -hmm. because what we're talking about is scripturally supported. Right. So Jesus did not say preach born again. Mm -hmm. 
He did not t tell you to preach being saved or mm -hmm. Calvary. Mm -hmm. He said preach the gospel or the good news mm -hmm. of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. That word gospel is not a doctrine. Mm -hmm. It simply means good mm -hmm. news. Mm -hmm. The good news was that he returned the mm -hmm. kingdom mm -hmm. to the earth. Right. He returned the governing control of mm -hmm. earth to mankind. Right. And now that the governing control of earth is back to mankind mm -hmm. we can dominate the earth right. we can be re fruitful we can you know replenish the earth we can control it we can subdue it mm -hmm. we can have dominion over it with the influence of heaven mm -hmm. we can manifest heaven's government on the yeah, earth amen. and that's god's plan and purpose from mm -hmm. the beginning from the very, very beginning amen. from the very beginning mm -hmm. so once again he said preach the gospel or the good news of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Why? Because this is what mankind lost. When mm -hmm. he says, I came to seek and save that which was lost, wow. that is the that which was lost, mm -hmm. the control of earth. Mm -hmm. So what the colony lost has now been returned. Mm -hmm. What the colony lost has now been returned. Another greater, more mm -hmm. excellent government is present and in charge. Amen. Yes. Psalms yes. 33 verse 12 tells us that blessed is the nation whose God is Lord. Amen. 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 Hey. There is a heavenly government over the earthly government. Amen. Yes. The kingdom of God is our government. Mm -hmm. yes. And the Bible tells us in Isaiah the ninth chapter, we mm -hmm. just read it of the increase of his government, his government. and the peace that it brings, mm -hmm. there will be no, no end. end. No Amen. End. His throne is established forever. Mm -hmm. He was born a king. Yes. He was raised a king. Mm -hmm. He reigns as king. Right. And because of this, my life and your life are stable. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. No matter what changes in our lives, Amen. our lives are stable. Amen. As it says in Psalms, the 20th chapter and verse 7, mm -hmm. some trust in horses. Uh -huh. Some <laughs> trust in earthly governments. Mm -hmm. Some trust in chariots. Mm -hmm. But we trust in the name of the Lord, Lord our Amen. God. Amen. I put my trust mm -hmm. in the one and only, only. true That's and right. living God. God. Amen. Amen. Jesus is stable and a benevolent king. Yeah. Yes, sir. My life and your life mm -hmm. should be hid in, in Christ, Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Because of <laughs> Jesus, you and I have mm -hmm. access to all of heaven from yes. earth. Yes. Wow. So stay humble mm. and awesome. always surrender mm -hmm. to the kingdom. Amen. 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 Thy kingdom come, mm -hmm. thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth. earth. Just yes, like, like it is, is in heaven. heaven. God wants his will done in the earth now. now. Not later. That's right. Now. That's and right. he's now. equipped us mm -hmm. with yes. everything we right. need to manifest mm -hmm. his government in, in the, the earth, earth. now. Amen. The kingdom has already come. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we have been given the keys. Mm -hmm. And we talked about those keys or access, yeah. which are the principles, the standards, and the laws of how yes. to operate yes. and access and manifest yes. that government in the earth. Wow. Amen. So as we know from John, the 18th chapter, verse 36, Jesus mm -hmm. says, his kingdom is not of this world. Mm -hmm. That's, that's right. what he was telling, yeah. you know, on, that's what he was telling um, mm -hmm. um, Pontius Pilate. He says, mm -hmm. my kingdom is not of this, this, this world. world. He said, because if it were so, he said, I mm -hmm. could clap my hands right. and all my angels, angels would come. Would come right. right. So, yeah. so, so the bottom line is there's no hope for a colony mm -hmm. that has to create its own government. Right. And that's mm -hmm. what has happened in this earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus brought the government of heaven into earth. Mm -hmm. from another place. Right. Yeah. Therefore, you and I are not limited by earth's resources. Come on, Amen. Come on now. now. We have access to the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. People are tired of religion mm -hmm. because yes. it's not working. Mm -hmm. it's not. Only the yeah. kingdom can answer the hunger of the human spirit of mankind. That's true. Mm -hmm. Jesus is not coming back until the right mm -hmm. message is preached. Mm -hmm. We just read that in yeah. Matthew the Matthew 24th 20, chapter. Right. He's, you know, he's tied his return to the message, mm -hmm. yes. not an event. Right. So we can see wars and rumors of wars. Mm -hmm. And we see that happening. Mm -hmm. We right. see nations against nations. You know, mm -hmm. we saw what happened last week, mm -hmm. you know, when the president of the United States was over at the, you know, at the, the, the what is the name of the meeting he was at? The NATO meeting. Yeah. Right. What happened? You know, mm -hmm. other nations were, you know, 
caught on camera making mm -hmm. fun of him. Right. Those other presidents and prime ministers mm -hmm. represent other nations. So we have nation against nation. We have wars and rumors of wars. We have, you know, you know, dis destruction happening. But Jesus tied his return not to these events. Right. He is waiting for the church to get the right message. Amen. As I said before, the seminarians don't have it. No, they don't have the message. Not in there. So because the seminarians don't have it, the churches don't have it either. Mm -hmm. Thy kingdom come, mm -hmm. thy will be done on earth just like it is in heaven. Amen. Matthew 6 is telling us to colonize earth with the culture of heaven. Yes. The church is teaching that we need to colonize heaven by leaving earth. Mm -hmm. That's not what he said. Mm -hmm. Going to heaven is not God's best interest yes. for us. If that were true, he would have not created a healing program. Right. That's Amen. right. Mankind That's right. was created to live life in mm -hmm. this earth. Amen. 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 God has promised to get you out of heaven. Mm -hmm. And the proof of that, we will not stay there, is the resurrection. Mm -hmm. If we were going to go to heaven to stay, mm -hmm. the Bible would not talk about the resurrection. Mm -hmm. The Bible says wherever your body is, the grave has to, is going to have to give up that body. Yes. So Amen. if your body is lost at sea, or buried in the ground, wherever that body is, when Jesus returns in the resurrection, mm -hmm. wherever that body is, it has to come back, yes, and it's going to be made new. The, although the mm -hmm. Bible says to be absent from the body yes, is to be present with the Lord. Lord, he says, you know, he's coming back, and he's going to get that same body that you leave in the mm -hmm. earth and turn it into a new body. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says that we're going to reign and rule with mm -hmm. him on earth forever. Amen. Amen. Let's look at um, Revelation. I'm going to go to Revelation, the 21st chapter. I'm going to ask Diane to go there for us, Diane. Revelation, you go there with us. Revelation, the 21st chapter. Verses, and we're going to read uh, verses 1, one through five. 5. Amen. 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 Jesus. And it reads, mm. Then I saw a new heaven mm -hmm. and a new earth. Mm -hmm. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. And there was no longer any sea. Mm. I saw the holy city, mm. a new Jerusalem, mm -hmm. coming down out of heaven from God, mm. prepared like a bride, beautifully dressed mm. for her husband. Mm -hmm. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, look. Mm. God's dwelling place is now among the people, wow. and he will dwell with them. Mm -hmm. They will be his people, and God himself will be with mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. and be their God. Yes, He will wipe every tear from your eye. Mm. There will be no more death mm. or mourning or crying or pain, mm. for the old order of things have passed away. Mm -hmm. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Amen. Then he said, write this down, for these words are trustworthy and, and true. true. <laughs> mm. Wow. So his prayer is mm. that earth is inhabited mm. with the culture of heaven. You or I are in his colony. Yes. Mm -hmm. He says that the kingdom of God is in you now. The Bible is about a kingdom. Yes. Amen. Amen. Religions are simply man's attempt to find the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All true kingdoms have the mm -hmm. same qualities, wow. which is why he uses the word kingdom. Mm -hmm. All yes. kingdoms manifest themselves through what? Culture. Mm -hmm. A kingdom is the governing influence of a king over his territory Amen. and a citizenry of people impacting them with his yes. will, mm -hmm. his intent, mm -hmm. his purpose, wow. his nature, yeah. his culture, and his values. Yes, sir. We are his little kings yes. in his territory. Mm -hmm. Our assignment is to bring the rulership and the culture of heaven in the earth. earth. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. A kingdom is a nation mm -hmm. or a country governed by a king, and it consists of a king, mm -hmm. a government, mm -hmm. a territory, a country or a nation, a people identified with the sovereign, a nation of people ruled by a mm -hmm. king. 
every kingdom is identified mm -hmm. this way. Amen. So when you come <coughs> into the kingdom of God, you become a citizen, not a member. Mm -hmm. Citizens mm -hmm. have rights. Mm -hmm. We right. talked about that. Come on, citizens. Come on. citizens have rights, privileges, and benefits. Mm -hmm. We live under the king's jurisdiction. Amen. Our jobs are to produce a community of people and a people with a distinct culture. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can practice religion, but you cannot practice citizenship. Mm -hmm. Amen? Let me say that practice. again. Right. You can practice a religion, mm -hmm. but you cannot practice citizenship. Mm -hmm. You don't say you are a member of the United States. You mm -hmm. say you are a citizen of the United States. Mm -hmm. It is your citizenship that offers you Amen. and affords you the rights and benefits of being a citizen of this nation. Mm -hmm. It's the same with the kingdom of God. When you are reconciled to God's family by the blood of Jesus Christ, you are also restored unto your kingdom citizenship of right, citizenship authority with full rights and benefits. The kingdom of God is not a religion. So once again, what is culture? Culture is the act of developing the intellectual and moral faculties by education expert care and training. Mm -hmm. If you are watching these teachings on a weekly basis, this is your training. Amen. Yes, this amen. is your 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 kingdom <coughs> cultural <coughs> training. Amen. Yes, amen. Culture is the enlightenment and excellence of of taste acquired by intellectual aesthetic training. Mm -hmm. Culture is the integrated pattern of human knowledge, belief and behavior that depends upon man's capacity for learning and transmitting knowledge to succeeding generations. Mm -hmm. Culture is the customary beliefs, the social forms, and the material traits of, or, excuse me, traits of a racial, religious, or social group. Yes. Culture is the set of shared attitudes, mm -hmm. values, mm -hmm. goals, and practices that characterize a company's corporation. Yes, we talked about this in yes. the beginning. Mm -hmm. Culture means to grow in a prepared medium. Mm. God wants us to learn the culture of heaven and pass it on from generation to generation. Mm. The battle of earth is a battle for culture. Mm. Look at what's mm. happening in the oh, earth today. Yes, yes. That's where the battle is, yes. to change the culture of mm -hmm. heaven to a culture of death and destruction. Mm. And that's what we see manifested. God wants his culture mm -hmm. manifested in the earth and he has equipped us with the ability he's given us the authority through jesus mm -hmm. christ yeah. and he's given us the power of his spirit who's the governor of the kingdom living in us yes. where we can manifest heaven's culture yes. heaven's values mm -hmm. heaven's heaven's mm -hmm. control of earth Amen. we need to get this right if we want to experience god's great benefits mm -hmm. amen. amen 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 well we're gonna stop at this point however we're gonna pick us we're gonna pick up on this next week Amen. and i know we said a lot today mm -hmm. and that's one of the reasons why we record these sessions so you can go back mm -hmm. yes. and see them again because you're not gonna you can't learn the kingdom in an hour mm -hmm. you can't learn it in 90 minutes you can't learn it in a week you can't learn no, it in a month ongoing. it is a oh, lifetime yes. of so learning ongoing. Yes. And this is for those who choose life. Right. Amen. Right. God told us that our ministry is for those who choose life, yeah. mm -hmm. that they will have ample opportunities to learn how to live mm -hmm. according to his re his original con his original uh, concepts and precepts. And we know foundationally that that is his kingdom government mm -hmm. established in the hearts and the minds of yes. people yes. so that the people can take on his culture, mm -hmm. his nature, and his values so mm -hmm. that we can manifest heaven on earth. Amen. 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 So join us again next week mm -hmm. as we continue our studies on the principle of kingdom culture. Amen. 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 Wow. Now let's move into our open forum discussion. Mm. Are there any questions from our audience? Mm. Now is the time. If you have any questions, mm. please mm. place them in the comment section. Wow. Mm. 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 Questions? While we're waiting. Amen. If you missed any of our prior sessions from our Sunday series, yes. I urge, I strongly urge you to go back and watch all of them. Mm. 
They are all still saved on our Facebook page. Yes. You can access them from our website at www.ftwcinc.org. Mm -hmm. Let me read that again. That website is www.ftwcinc.org. Amen. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and see all our videos there. Amen. Remember to join us each Sunday at 3 p.m. for continuous study. Mm -hmm. May you be transformed by the renewing of your mind, mind. so that you will know the good, acceptable, and perfect, perfect will, will of God. Amen. 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 Now, the final thing we want to remind you of today, and that is... Jesus is Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Amen. We'll bless. see you again on next Sunday. Yes. Amen.